Why Ancient Egypt? Why should you or anyone be interested in ancient Egypt? Because Egypt is the foundation of so many fundamental aspects of Western civilization. For example, if you grew up Christian, you have been told the Bible is original and a revelation from God. A little research will uncover the fact that much of the Bible, its stories, poetry, people, and parables originated in Egypt. Many of the personages in the Bible, like Moses and Jesus, and even the miracles of Jesus can be traced to ancient Egypt. The Ten Commandments were also copied from Egypt and the 42 Negative Confessions. What we call the Law of Attraction today is what the Egyptian civilization was built on. For the Egyptians, everything originates from the same source and everything vibrates. The Egyptian concept was harmony as in all things in the universe connecting to make beautiful music or sound. A metaphor the Egyptians used poetically for sound and vibration was the word. A quote from the Egyptian Book of the Dead states, I am the eternal. I am Ra. I am that which created the word. I am the word. So according to the Egyptians, thousands of years before Christianity existed, Ra was the word. As a Christian, you may have heard the Bible scripture, John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. This is an Egyptian and Christian connection, the same idea but stated in Egypt thousands of years before the Bible was written. The phrase, the Word of God, was meant as a poetic metaphor in ancient times, but taken literal in current times. One researcher stated it this way. It is easy to see that one purpose of the cosmological metaphor of the divine word may be to help orient us to think about matter as a product of vibration. Laird Scranton from the book Cosmological Origins of Myth and Symbols, page 102. So the idea of the word of God is a euphemism for vibration. This idea was first mentioned in Egypt and never meant to be literal as if God was speaking or the word was written in some form. This also shows a recognition of a scientific understanding that everything vibrates just as the law of attraction recognizes that idea in today's vernacular. But understand that it goes much deeper than I am here. A little research will get you into quantum physics ideas the Egyptians expressed. Believe it or not. Another aspect of Western civilization that can be traced to Egypt is astronomy and astrology. The knowledge of the zodiac, constellations, and procession of the equinoxes traveled from the southern Nile up to what finally became Egypt. Dr. Yosef Ben Yakinen states Egypt is not the first great civilization along the Nile River, it is the last. The only difference is their legacy was preserved in stone. Africans, and not just the ancient Egyptians, were mapping the stars for thousands of years. Megalithic sites like Napta Playa in southern Egypt shows that Africans tracked the stars in this area since around 16,000 BCE. Other areas have been discovered as well that may be older. Ancient Egypt had the most extraordinary knowledge and wisdom about metaphysics, the basis of which we call numerology today. Numerology was an integral part of ancient Egyptian society. For them, numbers express functions of the universe. Egypt was already more than 3,000 years old by the time the Greeks arrived. Pythagoras, Euclid, Plato, and others were taught in Egypt and were the beneficiaries of this knowledge for approximately 250 years. Did you ever wonder why numerology and astrology were considered sins and satanic in the church? It was because they wanted to keep the truth of what you were worshiping hidden. The Grand Eden were all principles of the universe that were numbered. Each number was masculine and feminine, odd even, right left, light dark, etc. In other words, numbers had attributes, not just simple abstract mathematical meaning. Concepts like duality, the trinity, the twelve houses of the zodiac, and the twelve disciples were all born out of Egyptian numerology. The fact that I just named 
different categories of ideas like law of attraction, astrology, and numerology forms an automatic disconnect to how ancient Egyptians thought. For them, there was no separation of these ideas, so much so that they did not have a name for, the, for what they believed. It was simply life and the expression of it. French Egyptologist R. A. Schwala de Lubitsch states, Egypt was more concerned with the principle behind the fact. This idea on how Egyptians thought, expressed by the Lubitsch, is a game changer. Putting it into practice in your everyday life is transformational. Today we use the term universal laws instead of principles to express the same concept. But the Egyptians had these ideas down to a science, literally. The Egyptians believed every natural thing is the incarnation of a principle. It is the principal symbol, R.A. Schwala de Lubitsch. That idea is truly a paradigm shift for most of us. The Egyptians believed all things followed a pattern or principle. To understand the pattern is to understand the secret of the universe. This idea corresponds to the law of attraction. The Egyptians did not believe there was a difference between the material world and the metaphysical world. In other words, everything is made out of the same stuff. There was no idea of deciding if something was spiritual or not. The idea of us as spiritual beings having a human experience would encapsulate the Egyptian idea of metaphysical and material or physical being all the same. So why ancient Egypt? Because Egyptian metaphysics is the most coherent, comprehensive, consistent, logical, intuitive, flexible, and by its very nature, adaptable philosophy for the new age, new thought, and new millennium. Today, there are a number of archaeologists that are challenging the belief that society develops in a linear progression from the simple to the complex. The Egyptians and many indigenous cultures believe all things move in cycles rather than in a linear progression. Today, the belief is we are coming out of a dark cycle where knowledge was hidden. You are on the leading edge of an evolution of consciousness. In this day and age, you may be one of the relative few that get it or even want to get it. I can say that if you do take the time to study these ideas, a whole world of possibilities will open up to you. I understand the biases of today that will paint all ancient societies as primitive, backwards, and ignorant. That is a paradigm that will be challenged as you unfold the ideas being taught in ancient Egypt. The knowledge on the walls of ancient Egypt was not initially meant for the masses. The myths and symbols were for a specialized few, the initiates into the mystery system. In his book, Hidden Meanings, Laird Scranton states, the symbols are created in a way that a later civilization could pick them up and learn the meaning by deciphering the symbols. The mythology and symbolism of ancient Egypt is a guide to discovery of our human nature, metaphysical nature, and consciousness expanding knowledge that was left by the Egyptians. What is being discovered is the myths and symbols are designed intricately and with purpose. We still don't understand all that the ancients left us because we have yet to get to their level of knowledge. And I don't say that flippantly. I will explain the basics on the mythology and symbolism in a later lecture. It is advanced learning technology that we have lost contact with. It is waiting to be rediscovered by those that are open and ready. Are you open and ready?